Hello, I am Anakin, and I would love to welcome you to another episode of Anakin's Cat Corner, coming from a real corner, where today we will be learning about polydactyl cats. Here is another fact-filled episode. We've had a lot of fun with this channel's community discussing cats, and we have grown up to 340 followers. I have received a lot of photo submissions from our viewers of our cuddling cuties, which may be featured in our upcoming episodes. Keep them coming because we love being interactive in our conversations regarding the health, safety, and general knowledge of cat care. Stay tuned because you never know when your cat's going to be seen in the next episode. Cats are chosen randomly. Also, if you would like suggestions and recommendations, please be sure to let us know in the comment section below my video. Remember to always like and subscribe as it does keep this channel in production. Today's co-host will be none other than Estelle the Cat, who will not be able to cooperate with us. She's just not in it today. After our little conversation with Estelle, she's finally chosen to cooperate with us. So, as we discussed in our episode a month ago, cats have been found on ships at sea. They bring much added insect and rodent control and increased morale amongst the crew. In today's episode, we will discuss the legacy of one cat given as a gift to an American author in the 30s, which continues till this day. American-born Ernest Hemingway was a world-famous short story Today, polydactyl cats were bred as a distinct and specific cat breed with specific physical and temperamental characteristics. There are currently two categories, the Maine Coon polydactyl and the American these cats are also known as mitten cats, conch cats, snowshoe cats, cardi cats, and of course, Hemingway cats. Polydactylism is a simple autosomal dominant trait. This means that the trait is not related to gender. In order to produce a kitten with extra toes, only one parent, not both, needs to have a proper gene. While the gene is dominant, it is not fixed in breeding a cat with polydactylism does not always guarantee a kitten will be born with a mutation with a 25% to 50% chance of possible mutation. The condition does not have harmful effects on the babies, and if it did, the mutation is to believed to have died out real quickly. Today is considered to be a quirk of nature as a deviation from the norm, and it is not a birth defect. The life expectancy of such polydactyl cats is 15 years, while the average lifespan of a normal cat is 13 to 17 years. American-born Ernest Hemingway was a world-famous short story writer, journalist, and author who was awarded the Pulitzer Prize for Fiction in 1953, as well as the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1954. However, here's the story of a cat named Snow White given to the author in the 1930s by a sea captain named Stanley Dexter. Snow White was no ordinary ship's cat turned house cat. She had the special autosomal genetic trait that resulted in an unusual number of toes. Such cats are known as polydactyl cats, or in this case, commonly known as Hemingway cats in America. Normal cats typically have 18 toes in total. This includes five toes on each front paw and four on the back paws. Polydactyls can have up to around nine toes on each front and back paw. The world record set by a cat named Jake from Canada in 2002 by Guinness World Records and one set by a Minnesota cat named Paws Records, each cat having 28 toes in 2018 by CBS News, setting a groundbreaking record. In these cases, it would not be unusual to see four to seven toes per paw in combination. Polydactyls were excellent ship cats because their extra toes allowed for greater ability to climb and balance on the ship's rigging. Their enhanced paws also made them more deadly hunters as opposed to this guy here. While no one knows where the genetic information began to shine, it is believed that it began in Britain and spread to North America, South, West, South and West England, and Kingdom upon Hull. We believe these were carried by sea because the greatest numbers of these cats were found in towns with seaports. Interestingly, Europe has very few, 
because they were killed during a period of time where people concerned about superstitious things they couldn't explain. The famous home of Hemingway is located in Key West, Florida, where cats have run on the property and it's been their home since the 1930s. These cats receive excellent health care by the museum's veterinarian. Journal admission prices for the museum and house grounds are currently listed as $13 for adults, $6 for children between the ages of 6 and 12, and 5 and under being free. The cats roam free, and there are currently 40 to 50 of them. They are found in numerous colors and sizes, as well as personalities. For more information, I would highly recommend you visit the HemingwayHome.com. A movie was filmed in the Hemingway house, but it was only a couple minute shot where you basically get a view of the end and inside of the home. The film to represent this house was the James Bond action film, License to Kill, where you basically got yourself a tour of the house. When looking to purchase a polydactyl cat, you should always be certain that the breeder and owner is reputable and ethical. The prices of such cats ranges between not $100, not $200, not $300, but $600 and $1,300. Price is affected by a kitten's coat markings, type, bloodline, quality of health, as well as the reputation of the breeder. Occasionally, polydactyl cats can be adopted from shelters. These are rare and often take a lot of research to find. Traditional adoption fees always apply per usual. Today, I would love to give a shout out to Kirk and Tabitha Shaw for the cats who live in Wichita, Kansas. Their cats go by the names of Spot, Ivy, and Goldie. Here they are. It's all in you guys. You know just how to take care of your I hope you enjoyed learning about polydactyls as much as I did. As always, please be sure to like this content and subscribe if you have enjoyed this. Please keep wonderful pictures of your kittens coming by conducting me on my Facebook and Instagram pages. I try to include as many from the viewing community as possible. As for unusual, this has been another episode of Anakin's Cat Corner coming from a real corner. Thank you for watching and have a great day.